Welcome back. Welcome back to the Death Ray Cat channel. We're going to look at some more cramps today. We did one last week or the week before. You guys went mental for the cramps. Got lots of requests. I'm just going to do a quick one today. This one's for Kirsty. This one is called Like a Bad Girl Should. You guys love the cramps so much. I'm going to do periodical cramps tunes. So if you want to see more of that, subscribe. Okay enough chat like a bad girl should there's one main riff there's two guitars in this so there's two ways to play it and the main riff you can hear which is probably the most pronounced it's one guitar line it's like this <laughs> if you've got some fuzz now's the time to use it so stick on your fuzz I'm using the Phantom Fuzz, it's based on a Mosrite style 60s fuzz and it's quite towards the top end, it's quite kind of buzzy and tinny. So that's going to sound like this. pause for some outrageous lyrics so that's your first part your intro your main verse line and then it kind of <laughs> letting that a ring out starting on the a Go to a G, 3rd fret on the E string, then to open E, back to G, 3rd fret, then back to the A. Try and get some feedback going on if you can, you need some volume for that which I don't have here too much residential area um, okay when we come to the chorus we go to a D chorus going up to the D three there and then to the C third fret on the A back to your A then back to your C and then D Does that a few times and then when we get to the end of the chorus we go down to the G and an E. Like a bad girl should. Bit of weird timing coming back into the riff but just listen to it you'll figure it out. 
that's pretty much it that's your um, fuzz guitar sound now we're going to look at the other guitar which is more of a clean sound but it's got some tremolo going on so I'm going to turn the fuzz off get the tremolo on I'm using the walrus monument for the tremolo but you can use any tremolo you got <laughs> need to know a few bar chords or you could you could also use power chords that was just good enough so what that rhythm guitar is doing is something like this On your intro, starting on the A, 5th fret on your E, you move that down 2 frets to the G and come back up. Then we go up to the C there. Splits my spleen. Then we go to D. D to a C. Back to A. This is this shape here. Then for the last part of the chorus, G to E. Like a bad girl should. So that's your verse and chorus parts. And there's like a solo, it's pretty much the same, but it goes down to the E. Does this a couple of times, and there's a bit where there's some fast link ray style picking. Have a listen, it's all there. Um, that's pretty much the song, two guitar parts. Um, yeah, verse, chorus, solo. Have fun with it, I hope you enjoyed it. That one's for Kirsty. I've set up a Patreon as well if you want to support these videos, you can get some bonuses. I've got some special Death Ray Cat picks. I want to shout out Reverend Hellbilly as well. He's always getting on board with this channel. Go check out his stuff if you like gear reviews and chat. He's from Chicago. He's a good lad, Reverend Hillbilly. Yeah, check back for some more cramp stuff. Also, other rock and roll guitar lessons. Subscribe. Buy. Buy some of this stuff. Yeah. Or oh, there's some music. There's some more videos, tabs. Get on the Patreon for tabs and backing tracks. Check out my band X-Ray Cat Trio. We like to play cramp songs every now and again. Uh, hope you're all doing well. I think that's it. See you later.